And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Yoink for our first deck up today. Uh, we have we had a donation for this deck. Hey, what's up, Dr. Dents and the Rex? Welcome, y'all. Um, that's what the DD part here means. It's a donation deck where the R means that we play it in ranked matches. Uh, so this deck looks pretty cool. So we are we're basically the Simic Yoink deck. Uh, the, you know, we've played it before, um, and we've played against the Simic Yoink deck a ton uh, recently. It's one of the more, more popular decks in the format. But this is Bant, so that it gets to... Basically, we're splashing white just for Teferi, Time Raveler, which makes a lot of sense. Um, we played, like, that Simic Control deck yesterday, and we talked about how just staying with the two colors uh, was kind of rough. And being able to just play one of the best cards in the format, maybe even the best card in the format with Teferi, Time Raveler is certainly worth it certainly like you know one of the very best you know if not the best um i don't think it really hurts our mana too much to be able to play it especially when we're playing things like paradise druid that easily splash it uh, as you see over here like we just have like the nine white sources and that's probably going to be enough for us uh one thing that could be really cool with teferi so well a couple of things you know, of course, we are, like, the most important card in our deck is probably Mass Manipulation, right? Like, this, that's, like, really what our deck is built around, this Mass Manipulation card. Um, it is a really expensive card, and so sometimes opponents can counter it with a cheaper counter spell. Well, can't counter it whenever you have Teferi in play, because you can't cast any instant speed spells. That's one thing. But then the second thing is Teferi Time Raveler can allow you to cast your Mass Manipulation at instant speed, which could be really cool where even if your opponent doesn't have anything, you take up your Teferi, you pass the turn, they play something, and then at their end step, you manipulate it. And then you get to untack and already be attacking them with it or you know, activating the Planeswalker or anything like that. So there we go. That's our deck. Um, sideboard, just love Brontodons and Ripjaw Raptors against Red. Uh, just love those, those two cards these days. Um, we have a lot of Tulsimers in here. That'll be interesting to, to see how this card does. Also another good card against red, but it's a card that gives us a little bit of removal as well uh, that's not just stealing things. Um, so that'll be interesting to try out. Hey, Infinity Eggs. Um, so there we go. Bant Yoink. Let's go ahead and play some games. Let's see. We are oh, let's be Tristani. We got a green white deck. And if we're we are stealing all their stuff. Alright, so donation decks I take through the traditional constructed cues. Can you frilled Mystic if there's a Teferi Time Raveler on the board? Um you can if if it's your Teferi Time Raveler, yes. Because you can still cast instant speed stuff. It's just Whoever has the Teferi, the opponents cannot cast instant speed stuff. So if your opponent has a Teferi Time Raveler, then no, you cannot throw Mystic. But you still can with your own. Yeah, I yep, I always use Yep, this is the tie bar. Here. Um yeah, sure, Delotrius. Absolutely. I can help you out with that. Yep, we gotta hope there's no Tristani on the opponent side. So I feel like that's kind of odd that our choice of removal, like maybe maybe there's a better removal choice in the sideboard for something to kill Tristani than the Tulsimers. Maybe, you know, we're playing white, so could have things like Conclave Tribunal or Ixalan's Binding or, you know, any anything similar. So yes, I could have Frilled Mystic for this next turn, but honestly, them growing a Wild Earth Walker really isn't that big of a deal for us because of manipulation, so I feel like it's just probably better for us to start getting as much mana in play as possible. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, Ixalan's Binding could be worth it. Hey, Chief Seth. Welcome.
Hmm. Just no attack. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be Nissa-ing. So I, like, I could have nissa and Frilled mystic I, I just went, so I, I wanted to be able to adapt uh, Incubation Druid, but I can't, I cannot adapt Incubation Druid and play Frilled Mystic, so I'll just, just play Frilled Mystic. But I guess I, I could have nissa and Frilled mystic so I guess I really should have just nissa the previous turn. All right, I'll make, I will update that mistake. That's what I should have done last turn. We are all connected. Behold, nature's true power. Man, Frill Mystic is pretty good. All right, so they're playing Sultai. Yeah, this avatar is... The avatar that we're using right now is the Tristani avatar, and so you get that one in the Selesnia, uh guild pack. So I kind of want this melody. I don't really know what to cut though. All these cards are good. Maybe I just don't need that melody, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, like everything's good. Definitely need all the mana creatures and everything. I want Teferis. Maybe I don't need four Teferis. Yeah, we'll go with a, a Melody over a Teferi. We'll go that route. Um, yeah, I'm expecting my opponent to have a lot of Planeswalkers and everything. The Ran... What do you think of the GPKC list that ran Finale of Glory in the Bant Yoink deck? I hadn't seen that specific list. But just like looking at the deck list that, that I have here, like in front of me, I'm I'm trying to think of anything that I would actually want to take out for Finale of Glory. So that that's that's the white finale, I'm assuming, right? I would assume that's the white finale. That sounds like a, Make you know, glory, quick. but I'm maybe it's not. Let me yeah, it is? Okay. Brain for a minute. I don't really need another white source. So I think forest is probably just better than Temple Garden for us. White Finale does work really, you know, that's that's a card that's really awesome with the Fairy Time Raveler um, and a whole lot of mana, you know, like how this deck is just all these mana creatures. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. So it does, it is intriguing, but I don't, I mean, maybe as like a sideboard option if they're not really playing things for you to like Entrancing Melody, or like, I guess that'd be like the slot that would maybe come in as Entrancing Melody. Trust me, I have a plan. I guess I want to play this. I guess I could have done that at instant speed, but there's not really a reason to, to wait. A 
empty your mind. Hmm. I don't want to ditch the manipulation. Nah. I'm mysterious. Refined. Let's tidy up in there. I protect that which cannot go, Nissa. Go. Be wary of the ground you walk on. <clears throat> this was uh, actually, I don't have tea or coffee in this cup. I, it was just no, I hot water before that's turned into like warm water now. Um, my throat is just kind of bothering me a little bit today. I need a, a good night's sleep after a stream tonight. Um, so we'll see if I, I may not talk quite as much today as normal, which I always kind of wish I would talk more just in, in general during, I, <laughs> during streaming. I'll protect you. The land fights for us. Okay. So I gave them Nyssa instead of Krasis because I will endure. We can counter Nyssa with the Frilled Mystic and Krasis would like be able to draw cards. Hey, MTG Hexbomb, what's up? Thanks for that sub there. That's more like it. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yoink. <laughs> now I don't I don't really need the day off. It's just a little scratch in my throat and everything. That's it. That's a GG. Ooh, not 11 and 0. Not yet. <laughs> I will keep. Man, Bantex are fun. I like Bantex. Basically like mana creatures. Mana creatures are good. Yeah, Bant is talking about the color combination. That means blue, green, and white. All right, so it looks like our opponent has lots of colors over there. Hmm. I know my responsibility. I've got it. Da, 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 da. 
down. So certainly considered waiting to be able to, uh, um, waiting with the fairy to bounce the wild growth walker, but we're just gonna be playing like the Nissa the next turn. We need to draw some spells. I can no longer stand by and watch. Let's try this. That's annoying. Not exactly the spell I was hoping for. Well, I guess that's not bad. I guess that's not bad. I guess that's a 3 5. This is hardly my worst defeat. That's not so bad. But yeah, Hydrocrasis, Mass Manipulation. Alright, Hydrocrasis. <laughs> hmm. All right, so blockers. Basically, we're gonna have to get rid of our forest and the paradise druid to be able to keep Nissa around. Let us talk of peace. Like we have to block the Jade Light Ranger. I don't think I really have any outs right now, I grow honestly. With this fight. The land will not Cause you know, like my, all my steel cards don't work with Tristani out. Little, little, a little late there for old Mystic. Ugh. Hey, Intellibeam, thank you so much. Everyone is expendable. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. I can't really think of any outs that I have um, in the deck. I mean, like Krasis, like I guess, is my best draw. You know, Krasis and Nissa are like the only two things. But you know, we're just gonna die to a Dread Horde whenever that comes up. It's lost. So I guess our, I guess our opponents playing all five colors. You know, so they've just relied on the Paradise Druids for the blue here. We don't really know what the red's for. You know, we've seen four color Dread Horde quite a bit. I don't. I don't really know what this five color is, is all about. 
Oh yeah, Krasis does just get killed by Vraska. That's also true. Yeah, I'm I'm just dead. Oh, this is nickel for nickel bolus. Gotcha. I guess we can still take care take their planeswalkers. Tristani doesn't stop that. But let's let's take out all the melodies and play negates. Try to counter the Planeswalkers. I mean, obviously, if they have a Teferi Time Raveler, that's bad for me, but... I guess I'm going to try that. Yeah, I'm not, not loving the Tulsimers in the sideboard. I'm starting to think that those should be... Those should be something like Ixalan's Binding. But the problem with Ixalan's Binding is we see like the little Teferi would just bounce the Ixalan's Binding and they'd get their spell back. So we need four blue Rise, my for manipulation. So I'd love to draw a blue source here because we have we have three right now because we can like untap one of these with the Nissa, but we need to draw one more. Love to be able to take this Tamio. Dang. Unfortunate. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay. They're just gonna let their Wild Growth Walker die. Or sorry, not not not, not the Wagger's Walker. So they're gonna let the Tamio die. That's what I'm gonna say. I guess okay, nope, not letting Tamio die. Alright, well, this will kill Tamio. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only need six, really, with Krasis. To draw two. So we get an extra three, three damage in on our opponent. And they do have command. Hey, Ishikaga. Good evening. 
Shekel, shekel. Hey. Uh, no, I'm not really planning on playing any of the popper. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. I d yeah, not really planning on playing any. Hey, Storm, good evening. Um, haven't had the most like requests for that. Okay, how can we do this? So if I do one, two, three, four, five. And then I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, untap, seven, eight. Okay. That's four, six, seven, eight. to run it back. Actually, one last Teferi Time Raveler. One more negate. I suppose doubling your mana and having a factor of 3-3 haste vigilant creatures is okay, I guess. Mm, no green mana again. What if I kept this hand? How many green sources we got in here? Four, eight. Ugh, not a ton. Seventeen. We're on the draw. We get to negate like whatever planeswalker. Whenever we do draw the green source, we get like these things, and then Nissa, and then Krasis. This hand's like pretty perfect if we hit a green, like one green source. I, let's try it. On the play, I'd be mulliganing. Yeah, like this is kind of like last time. I'm going to try this. Hey, Nam. Hi. So, yeah, new code today. As you see there at the bottom of the codes thing, uh, that code 1 billion gets you a pack of War of the Spark. If y'all didn't hear about that code. For Arena here. Easily had that land. No trouble. No trouble whatsoever. I'm not going to counter a Teferi, I guess. I hope no Teferi. Hey, Unguided Nun. Peace be the journey. Oh, thank you so much for that resub there. Already fifth sub of the day. I don't have a breeding pool, do I? No, I do not. So if I play Nyssa, I do not get to keep Negate available. I think I want to keep Negate available... I'm going to just pass the turn and have Incubation Druid, like have like Negates or Incubation Druid up. Uh, 
Um, the significance, I think, of it is there have been 1 billion games played on Arena already. That's why the code is 1 billion. Okay. Don't, don't tap my druid. You keep my druid right where I want it to be. Witness the ties that bind us all. Mm, we'll go with you. The land fights for us. That's right, for us. Not three us, not five us, but four us. Oh, what does Miss Caller do? I don't really mind Nissa taking the, the three damage. I will endure. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Crisis for ten. The land shall conquer you. Sacrifice Mistcaller until end of turn if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. Ooh, there's your tech. They still get all their planeswalkers back, but yeah, stop. Stop Command the Dread Horde from getting any creatures in play. There you go. <laughs> 900 million were mono red of the, the 1 billion. Just getting those two. I don't really need to let them do that. I was I was gonna let them do that, but then I realized I just have lethal. You know, just gonna bounce their their thing, or even just without even bouncing their thing, I just have lethal here, so. Alright, two no. GG's. Hmm. Yeah, try this. Pant Yoik sounds like an indie band. True. Yep, thanks, Darkwing Drake. Yep. Mentioned that one. Um. Hey, that makes our hand better. I'm not sure if I'm like supposed to mulligan if you have zero of the 12 mana creatures. If you show remorse, Yoink. I'll, this might be a bad idea. Yoink, because we steal their stuff. Ooh, 
Ooh, no chain whirler. We will meet again. Will we? So I, I wanted to, like, if they were gonna play Chain Whirler, I wanted Melody to steal Chain Whirler. I guess, but looks like I'm gonna be stealing a Steamkin. Ooh. Um. Hmm. All these Steamkins. Alright, so the good news is they're down to two cards whenever we're taking our first point of damage. Wow, what a good draw. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm one mana short. Hmm. I shouldn't have blocked that Paradise Druid earlier. <laughs> Two. This one and this one. Yoink. Hey, we're Mono Red Krasis. That's our new deck. No, I don't have any finales in here. Um, next turn, I think I was planning on playing, you know, Nissa making a 3-3 Teferi, probably bounce my own Krasis, so that, like, the next turn I'd be able to play a bigger Krasis and gain more life. So it seems like our whole sideboard is... <laughs> Hey, there you go. Thank you so much. I don't. It says uh, Jelly's Cheer shared th rewards to three other to three others in chat. I don't know what that means, but that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the cheers there. Yeah, it seems like our whole sideboard is built with this matchup in mind. You know, with our Brontodons, Ripjaws. Uh, I think I'm taking out the Time Waster. Even though Time Waster is like our our only thing, it looks like to get rid of Frenzy for a little bit. Right. I forgot about Donald over here for a second. Donald can blow up Frenzies. I, mean, I guess I'm supposed to take out manipulation. Nah, I'm going to play one. Yep, that's what Lebrontodon does is dunk on over dunk all over frenzies. Yeah, manipulation is nice for Chandra. Good point. So yeah, keeping one in. Ow. Alright, haven't seen any of our sideboard cards yet. So what, do we bring in 11? Fleckmeister. Well, I guess this Druid is just going to get Wizard's Lightning, so I guess this is just two mana, gain three life, I suppose. 
Thanks for that tier one sub again for five months. Keeping that hype going. Sub number six on the day. All right, so the question was, why is Nikki B the Ravager so good in Grixis Control? Right now I have zero because they are so expensive. Yeah, I could I can see playing zero of those, honestly. I think that's reasonable. Um it's it's amazing in the late game, and it's also just it's a good clock against mono red, you know, being like the four four that makes him discard a card. Usually just a good body, but if you wanna if you're happy without him and you wanna just go like zero creatures kind of thing, try to just blank removal completely. I think that is reasonable. Unfortunately, the Firebrand's tapped. That would be really nice if, it, if we get to untap with it and kill the Pyromancer. But this could just be like a Chain Whirler here that sweeps up that Firebrand. Okay. We traded a Melody for a Wizard's Lightning and the Firebrand. If I would have played Druid, it would have just ate the Wizard's Lightning kind of thing. Yeah, if yes, if your shop is heavy mono red, Nicol Bolas is good, yes, because you need you, you really need the four four body. You need like the clock to, to end the game kind of quickly after after you stabilize. Um Yeah, you really want it there. Bronta Don. Bronta Don. Really? They didn't just sacrifice their firebrand? To do one damage to me? They just let it die to that? Seemed unnecessary. So this wolf is legendary also, so if I play Tulsimer, I'm only getting I'm getting just the Tulsimer. And so uh instead I you know, like they're both legendary, I couldn't play like another one. Ooh. We have two Brontodons for two frenzies. That was pretty fortunate of us, they just had two lands on top. Hmm. I have not spark doubled a Tulsimer. But like the other wolf would die. Your was it like Vona or something? Voja? If we had two more mana, you know, we could just blow up both frenzies. I guess my best play is just playing another one of these. And I could just go double Brontodon. But then I can't sacrifice them. <laughs> so now, if I kind of want to draw a land because I want to blow up both frenzies because. I don't think my opponent's going to be able to kill me from here without frenzies, basically. All right. Guess they're worried about those 4-4 four, four flyers. Ooh, a card reward. It's 40 gems. 
Very nice. Tulsimer was really good that game. This deck's really strong. This deck's really strong. Yep, that is so the card the card rewards you just um you know you get a ra usually you get uncommons, but sometimes you'll get a rare or a mythic. And so that one I got a mythic. And so whatever that specific mythic was in M19, I already own all four of them. It's not like a pack where they just if you get a card reward for a mythic that you have four of them, they just go get you another random mythic from from that set because you're not opening a pack of that set so you're just getting you know it's just a randomly generated mythic you know that i hit there and so whatever that mythic was um i already owned the four copies so therefore it just converted straight to gems well, that's how that worked See, my, my deck's really weak against Tristani, which is why we're the Tristani avatar. Because we're trying to ward off other Tristanis by having this one. Forty gems is basically well, like twenty cents worth of gems. It is not a lot. I think that's right, right? Isn't every like twenty gems, like ten cents? No. Is it? No, that doesn't sound right. Elves? Landor Elf? Steel Leaf Champion is an elf? That's a Merfolk Scout. That's not an elf. Um... Uh, that can happen. Yeah, a booster pack is 200 gems. It's $100 is 20,000 gems. Yeah, $100 is 20,000 gems. So then, yeah, I guess 200 gems... Two hundred gems being a dollar, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, twenty gems is ten cents. I don't know. Something like that. And that's the card that I was looking to frill Mystic. Right there. Thank you. Yeah, I could have mass manipulated that Galta, but they may have another Galta also. Hmm. Cause yeah, I think I just want to steal the Yeah, we're just gonna steal the Well. If I play Nissa, is Nissa gonna die? I guess not. Now that the now that we traded What a strange and magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. So I don't think don't think Nissa's gonna die. I think we should be able to have the two blockers here. Obviously we can we cannot block Steel Leaf Champion, obviously.
Yeah, so the 40 gems is 20 cents if you buy it. Yeah, if you value it at like the $100 mark. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I have twelve mana, twelve minus four is eight. So eight can do this four times. I can steal all four things. Is that right? Harness the elements. Hopefully that's right. I'm not thinking like the best today. Oh, so we're talking about just a tad bit Ugh. under the weather and stuff, a little sore throat and stuff. So, yay! I played Arcbow two days ago, King J. Not not yesterday, but the day before, and it was awesome, like always. Yoink. Behold, nature's true power. Yoink. That's our deck. Simic Yoink. Take the stuff. Take all of the stuff. So Melody's got to be good. And uh, Ripjaw Raptors. Put some good defense up. I think I'm going to get rid of the Time Raveler? Question mark? So I probably don't really need Frilled Mystic, actually. All right, we'll go with this. GG. <laughs> yeah, I just need like a, a nice night of sleep tonight after stream. And I'll be doing good. This mana situation is pretty awkward. I'm not going to get rid of the land because I need the land, but it's, you know, an awkward land. All right, it's only not awkward anymore. We'll get Ripjaw next turn. <laughs> yeah, Tristani's our avatar, the card that counters us the most. The please don't play this card. Raptor time. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, Ban Arcbo, the question about that deck, again, yeah, that's still my favorite deck in the format. Been having a lot of success with it. Oh no. That's kind of big. Basically, if I, I could untap the forest and play the Paradise Druid here. Nah. I don't think that plays very good at blocking these things. Maybe I shouldn't be boarding out the... Alright, I, I need to keep the... Alright, they have this card. I need to keep all the the three mana Teferis in the deck with these Galtas. 
bounce them, or like especially with with a uh, Blanchwood armor being a card. Yeah, and that's lethal. <clears throat> I don't play very much Is It Phoenix, so I don't know exactly how good it is in the current metagame. Just completely honest there. It's basically impossible to to melody a Galta. Switch those back around. Do I just want to play these Frold Mystic still? Frold Mystic is awesome. Especially on the play. Like, is that is it better than Ripjaw Raptor? Yeah. Yeah, let's just keep the Frill Mystics instead. Going back to the main deck. No Shadow f Friend. Friend? Friend? Is that friend? I don't know. Shadow Friend, I am not. I guess that is Friend. Um, this could be a mess. Every time I've played against Is It Phoenix, I've felt that the deck looks pretty powerful, though. I've been impressed with the deck uh, playing against it, and... Our opponent wouldn't have turn two Steel Leaf for once. That'd be nice. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Got time. So I will be able to cast Mass Manipulation next turn for one. So I could take a Steel Leaf Champion, or if there is a Galta here, be able to take a Galta. I cannot take a Vine Mare. This is but if I take Steel Leaf, feet. then Steel Leaf can block Vine Mare. I can also just play a Hydro Crisis for for four, though. I'm going to just do that. Try to hit more land drops. And dang, no land drops. That's unfortunate. And basically, I want to steal, or I want to save Manipulation for whenever there's a Galta. But if I would have hit, you know, a couple land drops, I could have double Manipulation, which would have been nice. I don't really know why. I guess, I guess if they put it on the Vine Mirror, I get to just chump block. So that's why they put it on this, the Steel Leaf. Wow. Wow. That is big. Oh, no trample? That's nice. Finally getting that land drop. All right, can I do Nissa and Teferi? Obviously, Teferi's bouncing the Steel Leaf, obviously. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can do both of those. Or I could just do Paradise and Incubation into Fairy. I guess this actually results in... No, I guess Nissa results in more mana. Fail. 
Despise my elemental friend. Right on schedule. There goes nothing. Oh, that's a good game. All right, Doom Awful. Have a good Tuesday. You just Not let me know underestimate my fortitude. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. The land shall conquer you. All right, we'll activate this incubation druid, and then we'll have lots and lots and lots of mana for these crises the next two turns. No, I'm a streamer, Shadow Friend. friend. Or just, I'm just going with Shadow. I'm a streamer, Shadow. I stream each and every day. And so that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. Every day here. All right, so we have two... That'll be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So seventeen, that's fifteen, but let's do fourteen. So we draw a land, we play Incubation Druid. All right, we are 4 now. This deck is really solid. Really, really solid. So with us being 4 now, we're going to the final boss playlist. Oh, the constructed events in Arena, got you. Um, am I grinding the constructed events in Arena? Um, I basically just, I play all my donation decks there in the constructed events. Uh, and this is a donation deck, so I'm playing it over there. What's my favorite color combination? My favorite color in Magic is green. And my favorite color combination would be green and white. Hmm. Kind of want to keep this. Incubation Druid's awesome. Lands are cool. I know this this doesn't have anything, but you know all we have to do is draw you know Krasis or you know basically all of our cards in our deck. Everything's turned on. Hmm. All right, we'll mulligan. I guess this hand works too. I'm going to need more blue sources for the manipulation, so I'll just keep that Hinchelin Harbor there. Um, yeah, I've just always kind of gravitated towards the green and white cards. I like the kind of games of magic that green and white cards promote and produce usually have games of magic that are are fun to me
Eight six one nine. I feel like I should have just played Paradise Druid last turn and this is like what what are we really scared of for our opponent to Frilled Mystic here? It's really like the next turn that we'd want to have Frilled Mystic anyway. Wow, I am very fortunate. Never mind, they had Tamio. Never mind. Take back everything I said. That was obviously holding up Frilled Mystic there was the perfect thing to do. Obviously. <laughs> Correct, Radical Guru. Yep, that's that's what I was referring to. Hmm. I guess I should be a... No, I can't attack first. That's right, because they activate. They block and activate. Ooh, no Frill Mystic. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Hey, Zephyrs. Well, we have the battlefield under command right now. Blast zone. Why would you want to blast any zones? No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, you probably are. You probably are. You know our opponent can't play any instants. I think I was probably going to just play the other Teferi there and, and bounce the Incubation Druid again after after combat. Uh, get, you know, attack first and everything. But then after combat, play the other Teferi and, and bounce. He's going to make a 3-3 a three, three and I would, have, I would have been able to block, or I would have been able to attack with like the 3-3 three, three and the 3-3, the 3-2 three, three, the and the 2-1. If I would have activated it on the white source. So anyway, it looks like our opponent's doing more of like a, a Simic like reclamation style. You know, we seeing Blast Zone, Tamio. Seem like they're doing more of that kind of stuff than steal all your things kind of stuff. So I want to cut these melodies. And Play negates. Cut one manipulation. Let's try this. One play negates. Maybe I should be cutting a crisis instead of a manipulation. I could play yes, I could play Brontodons for reclamation, but I'll wait till we actually see reclamation and I'm not Super scared of Reclamation because of us having the four Teferis also. There wasn't really anything in the deck that I wanted to necessarily get rid of. I liked everything in the deck. I mean, I even liked that last map's mass manipulation that I got rid of. Ooh, okay. Well, now I need Entrancing Melody back. Yeah, this deck is pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah, Bant Yoink is much better than Simic Yoink. Yep. Yeah, Teferi's great. Sorry I'm late. So just slow him down. Don't worry, I got this. Court you know, incubation druid would be better to balance because it costs two and it can add blue, but if I do that then the land war elf can just kill the Teferi Time Raveler, so
All right, good. No Tamiyo. This might be a bad idea. Uh -oh. Yeah, we played against Red earlier and and felt good. Like we we won game one without Brontodon and Raptor and. Uh, one game two, also without playing Brontodon or Raptor. Uh, we did play Tulsimers from the sideboard in game two that helped out, but it didn't seem like we were too terribly bad against Red. Um, you know, we felt felt kind of fine there. But yeah, we have we have a lot of cards. Uh, you know, the, the Brontodons, the Raptors, the Tulsimers, and I brought in the other Entrancing Melody, so I brought in like 11 cards there for that matchup. Oh yeah, yeah, Chain Whirler is amazing. In this metagame, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 25 land decks are viable. Abso yeah, absolutely. 25 lands are it's a good number of lands to have. Now what? Rise, my elemental friend. So we'll see if I regret not just like playing in the Frilled Mystic to block. Because the problem with doing that is that I wasn't going to be blocking like the next turn. Teferi would still be dying. That would require them to attack with the Incubation Druid. Play the breeding pool to, to shock in there, of course, because of Nissa, we want the forest in play. Huh. So this is Nexus deck with mana creatures. Hey, Budacris. Do not assume I am fragile. I was hoping our opponent was going to blow up the blast zone before damage. Didn't happen. Hmm. So they could have their own frilled mystic. Do I play Krasis with Frilled Mystic backup? How much mana would that cost me? So that'd be like... Um, two, four, five, six, seven. I'd still do Krasis for f five. With Frilled Mystic back.
All right, pass turn. So blast zone would kill Krasis and incubation druid, which that's not that's not a, a trade I mind. Getting rid of all those lands from our opponent. They may be just mo taking up the blast zone to try to kill Nessa though. All right, looks like they're doing that. Yeah, we could have tapped the mana creature over the land and still been able to keep up for Old Mystic, yeah. Uh, this is part of our... What? Huh. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. It's part of our final boss playlist that was up, but we were victorious. The 504 Bant Yoink. Ooh, got a new mythic. Also. Let's see what we got. Finale of Revelation. It's the egg. It's the egg. So yeah, this deck was really good, honestly. Um, yeah, Tulsimar just just uh, helped out even against Mo like Tulsimar was definitely really nice to have against Mono Red. The one thing, as we were talking about, is it would be nice to have some kind of removal for Tristani in here somewhere. Um, maybe you don't need the fourth Entrancing Melody in the sideboard or like the third Tulsimar. Maybe that could be like two slots of like two things that kill Tristani, maybe. But maybe not. Maybe just let your opponent have Tristani and don't worry about it too much. But this this definitely felt better than Simic. Like playing just playing white for Teferi Time Raveler is certainly worth it. Teferi Time Raveler was amazing. Um Frilled Mystic is just awesome too. I kinda want like a fourth frilled mystic in the sideboard, maybe instead of the third Tristani. Or sorry, the, the third Tulsimar, maybe a fourth frilled mystic there in that slot. Because frilled mystic is just great. But yeah, like an oblivion ring effect, like with having the white mana, um, something like that could get rid of. Like like maybe Ixalan's binding or or something like that. Uh, okay, the problem, of course, is like if that yeah. You know, Enchantments are vulnerable, and if, if your uh, Tristani opponent is also playing Teferi to get rid of it, like if it's four-color Dreadhorde, that could be a problem, but maybe you just don't need it. Oh, this deck, yeah, this deck was awesome. This deck was really good, so thanks for the donation um, there for this deck. This is from Key, so thanks, Key, for this donation deck here. That's Bant Yoink. Very, very solid deck. All right, if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Ban Yoink, and I hope to see you for another video.